welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is the Wednesday edition and today I am going to do a tutorial on how to make this which is a mitered lace dishcloth. Lace meaning it has some little lacy sections. There's three of them. If you are a new knitter this is ideal for you because it's some basic knitting stitches um, and I walk you step by step through it. Now the pattern I'm using is actually one of my patterns. It is free. Um, I will put a link to it down below in the description box and it is called the Mitered Lace Dishcloth. And let's get started. The, uh, the items you are going to need are some four weight or worsted yarn that is a cotton or cotton blend. This is um, Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend which is a, I think it's a polyester and cotton mix. I use it for a lot of my dishcloths and I found that it holds the color very well. Um, and it actually works, even though it has some polyester in it, it works pretty well for dishcloths um, with absorbency and all that stuff. You will also need a uh, US 6 set of knitting needles, uh, which is a five millimeter knitting needle if you use the millimeters. Uh, so this is what we're going to be making and I'm going to get the camera turned around and we'll get started. So here is the pattern. It is free. If you've done a mitered square uh, blanket before, this is a very, very similar technique other than you're going to be adding some lacy little edges here and that's optional. You don't need to do that, but I just did it to make it a little bit more interesting. So the stitches you're going to use are going to be a knit, a purl, a yarn over, knit two together, slip slip knit, and a knit two, or slip two, knit one, pass over two. That's what forms the spine of this square, which causes it to be mitered and pulls it in almost like a zipper. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is casting on 53 stitches. Now you can cast on any way you would like. If you like to do like I do, the long tail cast on, you can do that. Or you can just knit on uh, 53 stitches. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the long tail cast on. So if you're not familiar with that, I have a good bit of yarn here that I've set aside. I'm going to put a slip knot right on the end and I'm going to slide one of my needles into that loop and then just snug it up. Don't make it tight, but just snug. Now you're going to pull some more yarn out. So you have two strands and you're going to separate them and hold them like a V, like this. You're going to be holding the yarn like this. You're going to use your right needle. You're going to flip your thumb and go underneath here and then turn your wrist and pull it through right like that. So there's two and three, four, five, all right, I have 53 stitches now. Now you can either, this is the what is left of the tail of the yarn. You could trim this if you want to. Um, I'm probably just going to roll it up a little bit so I don't accidentally knit with it. So row one, we are going to knit the first 25 stitches. Get some yarn here. So it's one, two, three, four, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. 
Now you do want to go back and count your stitches to make sure it's correct because this, these next three stitches are going to form the center of your dishcloth where it actually be, becomes the mitered spine portion. So you do want to make sure you do have it correct. And I do, so we'll get started on the next center section. And the center section, you are going to slip two stitches. So you're going to slip one, slip two. Then you're going to knit the third stitch right there. And then you're going to pick up those two slipped stitches and you're going to pass them over top of the knitted stitch. So here you can see this section right here, so there's those two passed stitches. This becomes that, that beginning part of the spine that you see in the pattern right along here. So this is actually this first portion, portion right here because this is your first row on this edge. And it will get smaller as you go up, like I said, just like a zipper going up through the center. So now that we have formed that spine, we're now going to knit the remaining 25 stitches. We have completed row one. You're going to turn your work. Now this will be the back side of your dishcloth. You're going to be doing garter stitch except for that center spine. So every time we do that center spine, we're actually decreasing by two stitches. Um, that's what causes that miter in the middle. And you can see that, that this is your center stitch right here. You can feel it. It is definitely thicker than the rest. So you're going to knit across to that center stitch, you're going to purl that center stitch, and then knit the remaining 25 stitches. So if you want to pause the video and go back across, you can do that. I have reached those 25 stitches. This is the center spine, so I'm going to move my yarn forward. I'm going to purl that stitch. move my yarn back and continue knitting the remainder of that row. We've now completed row two. We're going to turn our work. Now as I said, because we have decreased and you can see that center point now, there's now 24 stitches on each side instead of 25. So we are going to knit 24 stitches. All right, I am at my 24th stitch. You can see here's the center spine and there's a stitch on each side of that center spine. I'm going to slip two stitches. There's one and two. And now I'm going to knit the third stitch. I'm going to use my left needle and I'm going to slip it into those two stitches and move it over the top just like that. I've now decreased two more stitches and you can really start seeing that center spine. I'm now going to knit the remaining 23 stitches to the end of the dishcloth. So this completes row three and you can really start seeing the spine. So we're going to turn our work. 
and just like we did for row two and what we will doing will be doing for all of the wrong side which would be your even rows is you will knit to that center spine stitch you will purl that stitch and then knit to the end so this will be row four All right, I have completed row four. And as I said, all even rows are gonna be the knit to that center stitch, purl it, and knit to the end. So that will be the same all the way throughout the pattern. So let's take a look at row five and some of the preceding rows. So row five, we are going to knit 23 and then we are going to do our decrease section, which is the slip two stitches, knit one, and pass those two over, and then knit the additional 23. We're gonna do the same for row seven, and the same for row nine. Remember, after each of these stitches, you will be repeating row two. So we are gonna pause the video and come back when you have completed row 10. So you'll go through row 9, you will be down to 21 stitches with the 3 stitch decrease, 21 stitches, and then you will do row 10, which again is an even row, so it will be the same as row 2. And this is right along here where we will start our first lace section. So pause the video, go through row 10, and then we'll come back and we'll do this row together. I have now completed row 10, so I did row 9 and then I've gone on the wrong side and done row 10, so we're now ready to start that first lace section. So you are going to knit the first two stitches and then you're going to do a yarn over. You're going to bring the yarn forward and you're going to knit two stitches together like this. So you've maintained your stitch count, but you now have a little hole right here, which forms your lace section. So we're going to do eight more yarn over knit twos together. So that's one for a total of nine. So we have one, Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and then our last one is going to be nine. We're now at those three stitches that form that center decrease. So we're going to slip one slip two, knit the third one, grab those two stitches and put them over the right needle. So there's our decrease. Now we are going to yarn over and you're going to slip slip knit, which is slightly different than knitting two together because it just makes the stitches slant a different direction. So you're going to yarn over and to slip slip knit, you can do it two different ways. You can literally slip, slip, and then knit like this.
like this, or you can do it this way. Pull your yarn forward, take your right needle and insert it in the back of the next two stitches and then knit. It does the exact same thing. So that's two. I'm going to do this a total of nine times. So this is three. Four, five, six, seven. eight and nine. You'll have two stitches left on your left needle and you're just going to knit those two stitches. So you can see your little, little holes that are formed by the yarn over. You're going to turn to the wrong side here and you're going to repeat the same pattern that you have been doing for the even numbered rows. So we're going to knit to the to that middle stitch. When you come to a yarn over, you're just going to knit it. Here is that middle stitch, so you're going to purl that one. And now we're going to knit the rest of the way across. So there we have completed our first lace row, and you can see there are the little lace sections. So let's look again at the pattern. So you now have completed row 12, because row 11 was your lace stitch, row 12 is just knitting back across on the wrong side. So you're now going to complete So you're now going to complete rows 13 through 21. Remember the even numbers are done the same as row 2. So when you finish, you should be down to 15 stitches, your center spine stitches, and another 15. So pause the video and work your way through row 22. You should have 15 stitches when you finish on each side of the center spine. And then we're going to do the next lace section. I've now completed through row 22, so I have my center spine here, you can see it, and I have 15 stitches on each side, and I'm getting ready for the second lace section, which is right here, row 23. So we're going to get started with that. You're going to knit two, one, and two, and then you're going to yarn over and knit two together six times. So we have the yarn over, and knit two together. There's one, yarn over, knit two together, there's two, yarn over, knit two together, there's three, yarn over, knit two together, that's four, yarn over, 
knit two together, that's five, and yarn over, knit two together, and that is six. And you'll see that takes us to our center three decrease stitches. So we're going to slip, slip, knit the third one, and pick up these two stitches here, and pass them over the top of that stitch. Now we are going to yarn over and we're going to slip slip knit so you're going to use your right needle go into the back here and then knit so there's one yarn over there's two yarn over three yarn over there's four got it a little tight there yarn over and that's five and yarn over and slip slip knit for number six then you're going to knit your last two stitches there's one and two and then you're going to turn your work. You will knit across the 14 stitches to your center stitch that you will purl and then you will knit the other 14. Now we've gone through all of the techniques with this pattern so from here on out you've just finished this section right here so you're going to work your way through one more lace section here that will be row 35 and then you're going to continue on down once you hit row 49 come back and we will do the very last row together and I will show you how to take it off of your of your needles so you can pause the video and work your way through the remaining half of this pattern you will have three lace sections by the time you finish and I'll see you again at row 49. I've now completed row 49 so I'm going to go back and do row 50 but you can see what it looks like. You can see your lace sections. This is the mitered section where your decreases are. So let's get started on this last row. Like I said I've already completed row 49 so this is the ending row. So row 50, we are going to knit, purl, and knit, turn our work to the right side for the last time. And we are going to do that center decrease. So you're going to slip, slip, knit this third stitch, pull these two stitches over the top, use some scissors and allow enough yarn left as a tail to be woven in and then I just take this loop and I give it a couple of twists put 
the yarn through it like that. And pull it tight. Then you just weave those ends in and there is your mitered lace dishcloth. So I hope you've enjoyed making this. This is a free pattern. I will put a link down below uh, if you want to go print a copy out for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed making it. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed or found this video to be helpful. And I'll see you again on Saturday. Thanks again. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click that little red subscribe button down below and click the little bell-shaped icon next to it, then click all, and that'll let you know anytime I post a video, which is always on Saturdays and Wednesdays, and then I also let you know whenever I know of some yarn sales that are going on. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody.